back to Worship Live. It's November fourth. No, no, Tuesday, November. Let's do it again. It's the okay. third. It's the third. It's third. November. Oh, I thought I thought fourth was election. No, okay. the third. It's always the Tuesday first week. Okay. Well, welcome to Worship Live from America's Keswick. It's Election Day, and it's November third. Yes. And Robert and I are still in Atlanta. I love being able to do this. Like, <laughs> I know. It's weird. It'll be weird because I'll be sitting in some waiting room somewhere and uh, going through Facebook, and it'll come up that I'm live here, and that'll be kind of funny. But at least Ann Louise I'll go know. on and I'll tell Ann Louise Anne I'm watching Louise with her. Ann Louise at least knows where we are, so where <laughs> you are. Right. That's right. But I'll today, say I'm watching with you, Ann Louise, and Mom and Dad. Today I have, I, I have the opportunity to meet the doctor today yes. at 1245. Cool. So that already happened. That already happened. It's so, past history. Oh, my word. This is so weird. Anyway, um, today is National Housewife Day. I'm not going to touch that. There's a lot of things I could say, but I'm trying to be good. You should be good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing is it's National Sandwich Day. Oh, I love sandwiches. I do, too. At least I do used to. Do you have a to. favorite sandwich? Right now, I like grilled cheese with uh, blueberries. Michael Fairclough told me that. Grilled cheese with you do blueberries. Pumpernickel bread. Uh huh. And you put, you know, American cheese, and then you cut up blueberries, and then you put blueberry jam. Oh, it's uh, wonderful. Wow. Little wow. sweet, little sour. Little sweet, okay. Salty, rather. Interesting. Wow. Well, okay. And today's my daughter's birthday, Laura. Oh, wow. She's Happy four, birthday, Laura. 42, Happy birthday. 42 today. Oh, my goodness. You know, there's a point where she might not want you announcing. Just from personal experience, she might not want everybody to know how old she is. Well, see, that was a day I'll never forget. You remember my story. Because mm -hmm. when Laura was, uh, when Jan went to the hospital, I'm not a hospital person. And so it was really, really scary for me to go through this process. <laughs> and when I got there, back then, you had to wear the hat and the gloves and the gown and the boots. And the lady, the nurse took, said, when you go down the hall, go to the room on your right, and your wife is there. And so I walked into the room, and Jan's legs were already up in the stirrups, and they had a blanket over her legs. And uh, I very bravely put my hand on her knee, knee and peered over the blanket, and it wasn't Jan. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Because <laughs> when I get upset, I get my get left and my right up. confused. But it got worse than that because back then they used to do these little steak dinners for the parents oh. of new kids. And so... Guess what? They sat us with that lady. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then that's year, awesome. But then a year later, I was managing a Christian bookstore, and she happened to walk in the store. And I was mortified, and she came to the counter to do her transaction, and she looked at me, and she said, haven't we met someplace before? <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's a funny. true story. That's but it's awesome. also Barbara Bissinger's birthday today. Good friend oh, of wow. ours, yes. and she Happy birthday, she's Barbara. a breast cancer survivor. Amen. And uh, really, really good friend. So Barb, go out and have a cream donut on me at uh, Dunkin' Donuts. How's she gonna put it on you? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's awesome. Well, but Robert's that's very dad. Kind of you. Robert's dad always tells the story about you know he uh, the joke about going to the grocery store and with the masks on you know coming home with the wrong woman because you don't recognize who they are. So. Robert remembers, you know, he knows your story. And so last week when we were at a doctor's office, they made me wait downstairs in the waiting room. And when Robert went in, when the doctor got in to see Robert, they, they, they sent the nurse down to get me and to bring me up. And when I came in the room, Robert said to the nurse, that's not my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, yeah. So have some fun with that. It, yeah. it comes in handy. Oh, my word, yes. <laughs> that the is the look on her face was, it was worth a thousand dollars. Anyway. Oh, my. What are you okay. going to sing for us? We're going to sing about God's grace today. I mm -hmm. think, right, we're going to start with, there is nothing greater than grace. What do you say to someone who feels like they've lost it all over the edge with no one left to break their fall? And what do you say to someone who feels so unloved, giving themselves away a little bit every day just to be good enough? And what do you say to a hopeless soul who can't remember their way home and everything is out of their control there is no valley 
that's another one, Victory in Jesus. You just love to hear the guys sing that, and we never sing it quite the same after we've heard them and watched them sing it over the years. Aren't you thankful for the grace of God in our lives? Where would we be without the work of Jesus on the cross, making it right, able, us able to have a right relationship with the almighty God? I always stand in awe for his grace. My heart is so proud My eyes are so unfocused I see the things you do through me As great things I have done But now you gently break me I cry just like a baby You hold me as my father Yet mold me you how many times will you pick me up when I keep on letting you down each time I will fall short of your glory how far will forgiveness abound and you answer my child I love you and as long as you're seeking You'll walk in the power of my daily sufficient grace. At times I may grow weak and feel a bit discouraged. do a better job for who am I to serve you I know I don't deserve to but that's the part that burns in my heart and keeps me hanging on I ask you times will you pick me up when I keep on letting you down each time I will fall short of your glory how far will forgiveness abound and you answer my child I love you and as long as you're seeking
I love Dr. Warren Wiersbe's quote. He says, mercy is God not giving me what I do deserve. Grace is God giving me what I don't deserve. And we are so thankful this morning for the grace of God. And I'm thankful that my friend Barb uh, Lancaster is going to forgive me because I called her Barbara Bissinger, <laughs> which is her maiden name. It's Barbara Lancaster, so you get to eat two cream donuts today. Hey, at 2.30 today, we have our Hope for Today podcast with Lynn Wilson. It's a great Bible study for women. This Thursday and Friday, we have our November hymn sing. I can't believe it. And uh, Thursday is sold out, but you can watch live on our website at 10 o'clock, and then we'll do the same thing again on Friday. There's still places for you to come. I want to encourage you to call today and make a reservation, 1-800-453-7942. And if you want to follow Robert and Joyce on this journey, you can do so on Caring Bridge, Robert's Life Song, or you can go on Facebook. There's a group page called Pray for Robert Hayes, and I trust that you will continue to pray for them in a special way. We appreciate you supporting the ministry of America's Keswick with your gifts and your prayers. Your prayers mean so much, but we need your gifts right now. You can call today 1-800-453-7942 or you can donate online right from our website www.americaskazakh.org. Well, tomorrow morning we'll wake up and we will have a president. Oh. And it'll be interesting to see. So have a good day. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.